So when I was younger, I wanted to be all sorts. I wanted to be an astronaut at one point, a vet, a doctor. Um, as long as it was kind of doing something that made an impact and made a difference towards people, then that's what I wanted to do. When I started out, I was always a tinkerer. So I was always playing with Meccano or, or Lego. Um, the kind of guy who would take apart a, a TV remote and then not be able to put it back together again. I actually wanted to um, be a professional hockey player um, when, I was, when I was at school. I didn't know any specifics about what exactly I wanted to do, but I think I always was interested on in learning how things worked. So later on in life I learned that that is basically what an engineer do and I decided that I wanted to be an engineer. My biggest interest in, in trains was, as a young child, uh, going on the heritage lines um, and the old steam trains. Um, and I kind of thought, it's an ever-evolving uh, technology, um, ever-evolving um, trains are always being built, they're always being upgraded, they're always being maintained. And a lot of things now are sort of all run um, through systems and softwares and, and I thought that's, that sounds really interesting and I wanted to give it a go. I didn't really know what I wanted to go into. I study product design engineering so the possibilities uh, are quite varied and I was actually invited to a women in engineering event that was hosted by Siemens and I didn't realise that Siemens actually did anything other than washing machines or, or white goods until I attended that event. I was about to graduate and I was looking for jobs and I was mainly looking for jobs where I could learn about different technology and apply the knowledge that I got in uni and I found this job and I didn't know that much about rail at the time but when I was doing my research I found that it's quite interesting because it integrates a lot of older technology and newer technology. So I thought that was a very interesting and I decided to apply. I didn't, I didn't realise quite how involved and how um, technically advanced railways are um, before I joined. So I think railway has a bit of a stigma for being dirty, shoveling coal, working on the track side all that kind of stuff and there are opportunities to do that if that's your kind of thing but um, what I've realised it's heavily computer based we have a lot of coders who work for us um, obviously myself I'm office based um, so and, and really we're pushing the frontier of, of what sort of traffic management kind of systems can do um, and it's, it's really cutting edge a lot of it yeah. I didn't realise how interesting it would be um, and when I get on a train now I kind of get excited by like all the things that go on behind the scenes and we kind of take it for granted when, when we travel somewhere. I think one of the main misconceptions is that there's only um, older men working in rail and that it's not um, a, an industry that gets a lot of new technology but that's completely wrong. There's all kinds of people working in, in the railway industry and there is a lot of very new technology being developed, especially for, for rail. There's a lot of developing and simulating and creating that is very interesting. I was surprised at how many young people there were in our entry-level talent community. There's apprentices, there's other interns like myself, there's graduates and it's really exciting to meet all these different, different people. <laughs> You can work pretty much anywhere in the country if you wanted to. Um, there's apprenticeship schemes out there, um, left, right and centre. If, if you're going into sort of more the university route, there's graduate schemes everywhere. And it's uh, a lot of transferable skills as well in the railway industry. So yeah, the sky really is your limit. And, and if you want to branch out later on in your career, that's, that's absolutely achievable within the railways. I'm, I'm getting the, the opportunity to work with really knowledgeable um, software engineers. Um, I'm getting the opportunity to ask questions um, and being given sort of small responsibilities um, that allow me to progress and, and learn. Um, Siemens um, have, have given me the opportunity to um, work um, with really great people and I'm really enjoying it. They know that they need younger minds to continue the work that they did for all their lives. So they are very happy to pass their knowledge and they are also happy to hear our ideas and experiment with us and even simulate things. So 
yeah, I always found that people were very supportive. Siemens are very flexible with the way that young people are starting to play, play out their careers. I have been involved and moved around a lot in my short time that I've been here, which means that I've learned lots of new skills which I didn't think I would, I would learn, and it's very exciting. <laughs> For me, it's, it's seeing, seeing what, I've, what I've done. Uh, and when I'm down on site and I can see that kit in working, I can see the lights flashing, uh, that for me is just like a, you know, I, I helped make that happen and it's, it's really powerful.